All right. Well, with that said, let's start the show for this evening. And the first person that we have uh, talking to us tonight is Gary Shukol, MMR. And Gary talks about bits and pieces that you can use for scratch building. Gary, welcome. Okay. Today we're going to talk about uh, what bits and pieces. And the bits and pieces tonight is all about... Uh, Dental modeling material. Uh, on the screen, you can see three or uh, three molds. Uh, the top mold is a dental uh, molding material, and it's called the uh, alginite. Uh, the two blue molds on the bottom are uh, a PVPU silicone. Now, I use these when I do very small castings. Uh, these molds that you're looking at are very flexible. They've lasted over 20 years. And I, uh, sorry, oh, where are we here? Uh, just a moment, I'm having trouble. Okay, what, what I do is uh, these are the castings that have come out of the molds. As you can see, there's a uh, workbench, a workbench here and here, a set of doors for a building. And over here is a scene with some cans and railroad paraphernalia. There's the uh, workbenches that have been uh, legs added to them, painted up uh, the different tools in that on the workbenches. And here's the scene with that larger object with all the uh, railroad paraphernalia in the back of the building on my layout. Uh, there's a, another scene with the material. This is the actual area that is underneath the car, the vehicle and uh, added some cans, tires, etc to fill in the scene. Uh, now these molds uh, were uh, done. And then from them, I ended up getting uh, building uh, sections, which can be put together and uh, wall or roof and that added, etc. Now what I use is for mixing my uh, dental plaster, that's what I use for these products because it's a high quality dental plaster and this is a hygienic flex bowl it's very flexible and I mix my uh, um, dental plaster in that and I pour it into those uh, molds you saw earlier and the little section that's left in the bottom I leave that and I let it get hard When it comes out, it looks like this. So I take these and I put them uh, in different spots in the layout. And this one here happens to be a uh, coal pile. These two here are sawdust piles at the uh, lumber yard. And that's my uh, bits and pieces for tonight, Jim. That's fantastic. Let me ask you this. I, I assume that the plaster is not free. How expensive is it? Uh, it, it, it isn't that any more expensive than any other plaster that you would buy. You'd have to go uh, online to a, uh, a company that sells dental uh, material. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, went online to look at the uh, alginite and you can get alginite uh, from Amazon, places like that. And it, it uh, a can of it's probably around $20. It's not that expensive. The reason I, I like the, uh, uh, th that material, as I said, the molds you saw, they're well over 20 years old. They're uh, still usable and they're extremely flexible, which is kind of nice. And the detail that they produce is excellent because they're used in uh, molding denture uh, uh, products. So they have to have good accuracy. 
Right. And the uh, reason I use the uh, dental plaster is just the quality of the plaster. Gotcha. Thank you so much. It's, it's interesting stuff, particularly uh, how long it lasts and how flexible it stays over that period of time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.